Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. In this video, I'm going to do a little bit more work with value driver trees. Uh, we looked at in some detail uh, the translation or the conversion, as it were, uh, a, from a, a value driver tree to a finished Excel model. If you have seen that previous video of mine, you will remember taking this driver tree, this value driver tree, and this is the completed Excel model based upon that value driver tree. Now, um, like I say, a little bit more work with value driver trees and also to introduce to you guys a couple of other um, Excel functions which I think you will find very, very useful. Indeed, a couple of financial functions. So I'm looking to retire, as I'm sure we all are. And I'm looking to retire as soon as I possibly can. So I'm actually going to use that monthly savings figure that I've got here I'm going to use it in this next part of the model for the monthly payment there. And like I say, going to introduce to you guys the FV or the future value function. A quick demonstration, a quick uh, illustration of it there. And also the PMT or the payment function. Again, a quick illustration of it there. I also said it's going to be a little bit more work with value driver trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of value driver trees that I've got here and once again translate into a finished Excel model. So the top driver tree, uh, three variables and three calculations, the green and the orange, uh, will give me the answer to what my pension pot will be worth uh, when I retire. So it'll feed into this particular part of the model here. What I've also got in the bottom half is my monthly income when I do retire. What's my monthly income going to be with that pension pot? Well, here we've got the bottom half of the uh, of the Excel model there. So think about the green, think about the orange, the green variables, hard-coded values, and the orange uh, calculations formulas of one kind or another. So number of years variable number of months is a calculation the annual interest rate is a variable and the monthly interest rate is a calculation this of course is a simple little formula effectively here which is drawn from that monthly payment drawn of course from my finished conversion spreadsheet model I've got here that we illustrated in that previous video of mine so a new function, the FV function, the future value function. That's what it looks like. I'm going to take uh, three arguments or three parameters. I'm going to delete it and start from scratch. Equals FV. Tab to pick up that particular uh, function. I'm going to grab my interest rate, comma. And then I'm going to grab my number of periods, monthly periods, comma. And then I'm going to grab my payment, my monthly payment, again, derived from that previous uh, model return or enter or previous part of it anyway and that's how much I will have in my pension pot apparently in 25 years so looking pretty good what I'm then going to do is to okay it comes to uh, when I retire and I've got a pension pot of this which I'm effectively that's why I've built in a negative value in there uh, a minus in there I'm effectively kind of giving it as it were to the bank and using, I'm going to assume I'm going to be retired for 25 years. I'm going to assume there's an annual interest rate of 5%. What's the monthly payment going to be with those variables, those assumptions? There it is. Taking three arguments. Again, what I will do, guys, is well, recreate it completely from scratch. So equals PMT. Again, tabbing to pick it up. There is my monthly interest rate. That's what I'm interested in. Monthly payments, comma. My number of periods. I will be retired for 300 months, 25 years, hopefully a little bit longer, comma. And the present value is my pension pot, effectively there. And then just return or enter on that. And there is my monthly payment. This is looking quite good. Um, going to be, uh, you know, pretty well off in retirement. Of course, I've been really quite generous, but hey, uh, why not? That's it from me, uh, Mark Davis here, at Optimum Technology Transfer. A little bit more work with uh, 
value driver trees and the translation of value driver trees into a finished completed Excel model and an introduction to a couple of financial functions that I'm sure you guys at some point will find really quite useful the future value function FV and the PMT function payment take care and bye bye